Hey everyone, this is Paul from Wondershare Filmora Pro, here to empower your inner video creator. Do you like making animations? Well, in Filmora Pro, we can animate shapes to create cool effects. For example, we can take a line and animate it like this. So in this video, I'll show you three ways to use animated lines. But first, let's talk about the stroke effect in Filmora Pro. In Filmora Pro, there are two stroke effects, the stroke and the vector stroke effect. Both will make the shape of the mask visible, and you can animate its start and end. The stroke effect requires less adjustments, and allows you to increase and decrease the hardness of the stroke. The vector stroke effect has more options to control the dashes, and adding shapes to the start and end of the stroke. To use the stroke, we can directly create a mask with the shape we want on our video. If we create a closed shape, it will mask out part of the video. Go to the controls panel and set the mask type to none. If we apply the vector stroke effect, it will make the mask visible. And we can adjust the stroke and animate it. But I like using the strokes with a different approach. First, I'll create a new plane by going to the media panel, click on New Plane. Here, I'll choose a checkerboard on color to make the plane transparent. Then I'll put the plane on the upper track on top of my video. I'll create a mask on the plane and apply the stroke effect. So far it looks the same, but now I can apply effects to the transparent plane and it will affect only the stroke and not the video. Now let's animate some lines. Let's make some on-screen graphics using the stroke effect. Here I have this hiking video and I want to animate a path to each mountain like a map. First, I'll set the transparent plane and move the playhead to a frame where I can see all the peaks. I'll select the pen tool and draw a path from the houses to the first peak. Then I'll click on the controls panel to deselect the mask and start drawing a second mask from the first peak to the second one. And finally, I'll do the same for the third mountain. Here, I can apply the vector stroke effect to the plane. I'll set the color to red and the width to 15 pixels. Then I'm going to activate the dash box. If necessary, I can adjust the dashes. And I will set the end shape to a circle to mark each peak. Here, I can readjust each mask so they coincide with each other in the background. Once I'm happy about how it looks, I'll make it follow the background. Go to the effects panel, look for motion track effect, and apply to the plane. Choose to follow the video and select the points on the background. Let's check how it looks. Nice! Now I'll animate the path. Let's find a frame where I want the path to be complete and set a keyframe to end. Then move the playhead backwards and set the value to 0. To finish, I'm going to set the blend of the layer to color burn to make it slightly transparent. Let's see the final result. The stroke effect can also be used to reveal text. Using the stroke effect, we can make the text appear as if it was written on the screen. This effect can be used on channel intros and can even add to brand logos. First, let's create our text in Filmora Pro. Now, let's create some masks in the clip by drawing the center line of each letter in the order and direction we want it to be written. We're not using the plane on this case. We can make as many masks as we need. If you want, you can rename your masks to make your job easier. Once we're done, I'll apply the vector stroke effect. 
Go to the Effects panel and inside the effect, set the path to All Masks. Increase the width until it covers all the letters. I'll set the caps to None and adjust the mask as necessary. And now I'll set the blend to Stencil. This will transform the stroke into an alpha mask for our clip. Now if we transform the end value, we will see how the text appears. For this case, I want all the letters to appear at the same time, so I will uncheck the Sequential Path option. Let's add some keyframes to the end values, from 0 to 100. And I'll set the keyframe to Smooth. Now it looks good, but I want to add some color to it. I'll duplicate the video on the upper track and move it forward a couple frames. Now I'll select the clip on the lower track and change the color of the text. This will create a first line of color when the text appears. You can repeat this process as many times as you want to add more colors to the effect. Or even change the width of the stroke to add some texture to it. And here's the extra fun part. Here I have a dance video. And I'll show you a couple tricks we can use to make his dance move stand out. Here I'll use the transparent plane and draw a simple S shape around its movement. I will add the vector stroke effect, select the color I want, but set it a little lighter. For this one I'll use a thicker width and apply some distort effects. I will apply the Neon Glow effect to the plane and select the same color, but fully saturated. I'm going to adjust the Neon Glow until I like the result. Ok, now I'll animate the end value from 0 to 100, to coincide with his movement. I can add some intermediate keyframes to make it coincide better. Then I'll select the keyframes and click on the circle on the top of the controls panel to smooth the animation. Next I'm going to copy all the keyframes, select the start value, paste the keyframe and move them a little bit forward. This will make the lines disappear with the same speed. To finish, I'll set the blend mode of the panel to add. Here we have the first line animation. Let's try some more. Want to make his hat glow? This is hard as he moves a lot, so I'll find a section where the movement is lower. First, I'm going to draw the hat on top of the image and I'll add the effects I want. I'll make sure these effects appear and disappear quickly. From here, I'll set keyframes to the path of the mask and animate it to follow the image during the frames that the stroke is visible. Let's add another one, but for this one I want to do several masks coming out from the same point.
and I'll uncheck the sequential path feature so they all move at the same time. From here, you can be creative by drawing more shapes. You can even copy and paste the same panels. Just change the path of the mask and settings to make more animated lines quicker. If you're looking for an easier way to make animated lines in your videos, check out the add-on feature AI Portrait in Filmora 10. And there you go, three ways to make animated lines on your videos. Give it a try and share it with us in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and remember, there's no limit to what you can make. And remember, there's no limit to what you can make. <laughs> that should be the blooper. <laughs> totally, 100%. <laughs>